Ladies. 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 I'm here tonight. Today on the show. I'm here today on the show. I'm here to talk about some uh, NBA news I want to go over. Um, over the last like three, four days because I've been in the NBA news in a little bit. Because I've been covering the Dodgers games, MLB, a, few, a little bit of the NFL. So I'm saying I wanted to get back to the NBA a little bit and catch up on the world of the NBA. So uh, I got my news here, got my got my notes here. Let's get into it. Um, first thing I want to talk, story I want to talk about is a report. All signs point toward LeBron James uh, signing an extension with the Lakers. He, I think he's able to sign a two-year, a $90 million extension, I believe. Um, he, like your superstar, is eligible to sign an extension with the franchise. And while some hope that he will... And, come on, article, come on, load, come on. And, uh, while some hope that he will lead the team in the near future, it seems like he'll be staying in Los Angeles for a little while longer. Uh, all signs to point toward both sides lend looking to extend their partnership together, per ESPN's Dave McMiniman. It's, uh, it's already led to one championship in 2020. It's also led to two playoff appearances where they didn't make it. But overall, I think both sides recognize that they can help one another get to their mutual goal, which is to compete at a high level and stay relevant as both one of the best players in the NBA and one of the most marquee franchises in the NBA. Um, so, sign, all signs are pointing. I'm towards LeBron James signing an extension. Basically, he's wants saying. And uh, despite the Lakers struggling in back-to-back -back seasons, um, multiple sources reported the leak that he will end up thinking an extension. So it's multiple sources basically thinking he's going to come back. He's going to return to LA. Basically, what it's saying so. Yeah, that's real I have to say about that. I think he'll come back, re return to Los Angeles. I really do. And maybe they'll draft Brawny, or we'll see. So yeah, uh, report, Andrew Wiggins is a name to watch next summer for the Cavs. So Andrew Wiggins will be a free agent, I believe. Uh, the Warriors can, will probably sign him back, but if they don't, it says here the Cavs are a name to watch, uh, a name to watch for uh, Mr. Wiggins. And I uh, remember uh, they drafted him before, and then they traded him. Timberwolves, Timberwolves traded him to the to the Warriors. And he's had some success for the Warriors with a big key in that championship run uh, last season. So I'd expect him to stay the Warriors. I don't think he's gonna go anywhere. They need Warriors need to bring him back. One of their best wing defenders, and he's improved every single uh, year he's got with the Warriors. So hopefully he doesn't leave. Uh, report Gordon Hayward could be plan B, plan B move for the Miami Heat. So that's an interesting uh, little story right there. So one NBA executive basically thinks they'll have a uh, interest in uh, Charlotte Hornets forward as a potential like, alternate move if they probably don't get Kevin Durant, which I assume they won't. So, yeah, uh, more news. Uh, Russell Westbrook, Victor Oladipo, and Paul George are putting some off-season work uh, together, I believe, at the gym. So, yeah, more news. Uh, Kendrick report. Kendrick Nunn is yet to be cleared for 5-on-5 five five, five five activities. I don't know what injury he suffered last year. He was out the whole season. He's still yet to be cleared. Jeez, this guy's made out of glass now. Uh, Bleacher reports. Most dominant players at each position at point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. At point guard, obviously Steph Curry's one, Lucas two, they have Luke at two, Trey Young at three at the point guard. Shooting guard, they have Devin Booker, Paul George, Donovan Mitchell. Small forward, they have Jason Tatum, uh, Kawhi, and Jimmy Butler. Power forward, they have Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kevin Durant, LeBron James. And at center, they have Jokic, Embiid, Gobert. I mean... I kind of agree with this list, honestly. I mean, I wouldn't, don't know if I'd have Booker at shooting guard one. Paul George, I mean, he's kind of a mean, but he's low-key been pretty decent when healthy. Last last year when he was healthy. 
I mean, Booker was good the whole season, but when it counted most, he <coughs> he choked. So maybe move Paul George up to spot. Donovan Mitchell maybe. Small forward. I mean, I'd probably put Kawhi probably at one. Tatum really struggled in the playoffs, mostly in the finals. To be honest, mostly in the finals. Giannis, Jokic, Curry, I go Gregory with. But I'd probably put either Paul George and Aunt Mitchell at shooting guard one, or maybe even Jimmy or Kawhi ahead of uh, Tatum. So yeah, a report: Dar Darvin Ham will have more power to bench Russell Westbrook late in games this season. Um. So yeah, uh, he'll have more power to bench him late in games this season. Uh. So um. Last year, during the 2021-22 season, one of the big issues that uh, existed for the Lakers was the uncertainty in how to utilize Russell Westbrook. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just how he's coaching the team. I mean, you'd rather him be off the team than him come off the bench. I mean, something's going terribly wrong if he got benched, so... If you're like a speed, you'd probably even rather be off the team to get benched. Uh, Miami Heat denying Nikola Jovic permission to play for Serbian national team in 2022 Eurobasket, so I guess they don't want to risk him getting injured. Uh, Hoopshype.com, they have their top 10 shooting guards entering next season. Uh, number one, they have Devin Booker. I don't know if I'd put Devin Booker at one. I'd probably even have Donovan Mitchell or Jalen Brown. Maybe even Zach Levine. But they have Devin Booker, Donovan Mitchell, Jalen Brown, Zach Levine, and this is in order. Anthony Bur Anthony Edwards, 5. Bradley Beal, 6. DeJounte Murray, 7. CJ McCollum, 8. Um, Tyrese Maxey, 9. And Desmond Bain, 10. So that's their, t that's their top 10 shooting guards entering next season. Um, I don't know. I don't even think Murray's a, a shooting guard. To be honest. I mean, I guess they're going to have him play shooting guard. We'll see. But, man, um... Um... Clay Thompson should be on here. I know he had a damn season last year, but, I mean, it's his first year back from injury. I think it'll be fun. But, yeah, decent list, I guess. Uh, more news. NBA Insider says he was told multiple times that Pat Riley likes guard Colin Sexton. So they could bring Colin Sexton to the Heat. That would be a good addition right there. Um, more news. NBA executive links LaMarcus Aldridge to Miami Heat. So that would be a pretty good bench piece there for the Heat. Uh, Hoopsite.com. They also have their top ten point guards entering next season. Uh, they have Luka Doncic at one. Steph Curry at two. I'd have Steph Curry at one. People used to argue, oh, Luka was on the Warriors. They, he, they'd still win. No, Luka doesn't play defense. He doesn't move off the ball like Curry does. The Warriors, I don't think, would be the would be as good as they are on offense. Like Luka, yeah, he puts up the numbers, but he gives up the point. He'd give up those points back defensively. He's just not athletic. He's not fast. He, I mean, he can make up for an offense, but defense, and he just doesn't move off the ball. So Curry was two, John Morant three, Trey Young four, Damian Lillard five. Chris Paul, 6. James Harden, 7. Uh, Kyrie Irving, 8. Shea Gilgis Alexander, 9. And Drew Holiday, 10. A name I don't see on here is uh, Darius Garland. I would put Darius Garland on this list. Even ahead of Kyrie. Um, more news. The overwhelming feeling among league insiders that Donovan Mitchell is likely to sign outside of Utah at the first available opportunity in 2025 per Andy Larson, B. Larson. Larson. Which I could see is happening. I don't know if he's going to want to stay in Utah uh, with a trash team. Since they're pretty much... Since they traded Gobert, Royce O'Neal. I could see him going somewhere else like the Heat, the Knicks, and free agency when he's a free agent. We'll see. Uh, the NBA.com. NBA.com. Um, they released their Eastern Conference Power Rankings. Their top uh, 15 teams. One, they have the Celtics. Two, Bucks. Three, Sixers. Four, Heat. Five Raptors, six Bulls, seven Nets, eight Hawks, nine the Cavs, Knicks ten, Wizards eleven, Hornets twelve, Pistons thirteen, Magic fourteen, and Pacers fifteen. So they think the best team will be Celtics, worst team will be the Pacers. I'd move the Pistons up a few spots. I'd have to move up to probably 
two spots, maybe eleven, possibly. I'm moving them up two, three spots, possibly. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> Um, Andre Iguodala he said the 2012 Olympics team would beat the 1992 Dream Team. So, um, yeah. I don't think so. I, I don't know about that. But, I mean, he just said this two weeks ago. Like, he said Sheed Wallace would be like a top five player in the league today. And now he's saying the 2012 Dream Team, or 2012 Olympic Team, beat the 1992 Dream Team. I don't know what, um, I don't know what Andre Udall is smoking, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. I don't know what he's, he's smoking. Uh, let's see if we can find some more news here. And Donovan Mitchell, he was smiling at Miami, Miami chants. Uh, an anonymous GM says he'd trade Jason Tatum for Kevin Durant. I'd do that before I'd give them Jalen Smart. Brown is valued a little less than Tatum because he's not the skill darling. He's a high-level athlete who has developed into a good player via Fox Sports. I wouldn't trade Jason Tatum for Kevin Durant just for two to three years of Kevin Durant when you have young Jason Tatum you could have for the, for the years to come. But yeah, um, that's all the news from the last uh, five days of the NBA, of the NBA ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've caught up on the NBA news because I haven't done any in a few days, so I've been mostly focused on MLB. I mean, there's not much news now, but mostly covering the Dodgers, the wrestling, NASCAR. But I'm going to try and get back to NBA, some NBA news. Um, so I basically caught, got, caught, got caught up on all the news here. So yeah, until next time, I'm Alpha Light. I thank you for watching.